Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sonata She Wrote. Today's episode is a bit spookier than usual. This is a prelude to the analysis of Schubert's String Quartet No. 14 in D minor, Death and the Maiden. We are going to be examining the titular song which the second movement, and perhaps more, is based on, Der Tod und das Mädchen. This painting, also called Death and the Maiden, by Egon Leo Adolf Ludwig Schiele, is from 1915 and part of the Austro-German art movement called Expressionism. This movement sought to portray not so much an image of reality as it surrounds us, but rather the inner reality of the mind and emotional states, distorting and confusing actual reality in the process to bring emotion to the foreground. The song begins gently with a D minor chorale before the woman, Das Mädchen, speaks and confronts death, the knockin' man. Like many of Schubert's songs, this is sung from two perspectives. The woman is the first to speak, but as you can see from the music up ahead, marked Der Tod, or Death, the knockin' man, literally bone man, or skeleton, was actually the first voice we heard. He was the introductory chorale to the song. Presumably, he enters the maiden's room in the night and makes himself known. The maiden, obviously terrified, begs him to move on and leave her alone. She does refer to him as being her Liba, though, her love. Death is getting some mixed signals here. But honestly, no means no, Death. Consent is important. Death has quite a way with words. He is not the enemy, 
He comes as friend rather than judge or jury. And at the end, we hear acceptance? It's ambiguous, obviously, but are we meant to hear the D major transformed version of this chorale as the woman accepting death? Or perhaps it is a longer version of a Picardy third. A Picardy third, which is a major mode cadence on a minor mode piece, usually has the feeling of something that is unearned. Perhaps death is simply twisting reality for the woman. Musically, there are a few places in death's music where we are missing voices inside of chords, rather like a bone man. The transitional music is missing some thirds, and we also have these sonorities here and here. They aren't really chords at all, but rather passing tones on the way to a chord. But the sound of D, A, and E together makes for a spooky effect when Death is saying he is a friend and that you will sleep well. If you enjoyed this analysis of Der Tote und das Mädchen, be sure to check out the entire string quartet, which is coming soon.